Hey Virgo, how are you doing? So happy July 1st for all of my Virgo sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Um, so Virgo, you are the sea turtle in the next few weeks. I am pulling out some cards here that represent your energy and the energy of the, of the person that you're dealing with. Remember, time is an illusion and energy is fluid. For my new subscribers, welcome. I have been on YouTube for the past six weeks. So please check out my other videos. Uh, I've been doing a lot of dailies, weekly. Last week I was doing weeklies for all zodiac signs. So please check that out. So this is going to be a reading for July 1st to July 15th for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus in Virgo. Virgo, my rising is Virgo, so I definitely connect with this type of energy. Um, you know, the perfectionist side of Virgo is really overwhelming sometimes, and we love to get things just, you know, on a list and make sure everything is perfect and sorted out. And it could be really tough to move forward in that type of vibe. So I completely get you on that one. Um, Virgo, listen, I pulled out some cards here for your overall energy when it comes to relationships. And it looks like um, balance needs to be restored. Justice, fairness. Things were probably not fair in the last few years, last few months. I see that you're a little bit in your head, though. So let's take a look at your the person that you're dealing with, the energy, the animal totem here that represents their energy. It's taking me a while to pick one. These are huge. Ooh. Okay. 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 This one. Very good. The one that showed up. Peacock. Okay, Virgo. So let's start with your energy. You are the sea turtle. Protection. You are a master of finding life's flow. Be in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unfold. So this is about letting go of control, just like the way the sea turtle does. You know, they, they just flow. They go with the rhythm of the water. There's no um, fighting or resisting against the current. Okay, they move. They go with the flow. Persevere and you will succeed. You have everything you need to be protected and happy. And the sea turtle is about protection, right? Because they have that hard, um, sh I can't even speak today, I'm telling you in every video. They are covered with that beautiful, um, I don't even know how to call this, to be honest with you. Maybe one of you can tell me in the comments. Uh, the Virgo in me is like, fuck it, I'm just tired. And Mercury retrograde is killing us all. I mean, my head is just spinning and I have a migraine. So their, sh their shell, their protective shell, can that, can that be the word? And I'm a teacher, right? So that makes a lot of sense. I think you are definitely protecting yourself. You're, you're in an energy where you need to protect yourself and you're just going with the flow not resisting the currents, not um, giving up because you need to persevere in this type of energy, guys. We are not giving up. Oh, no, no. You're dealing with an energy like this. Holy crap. Or the roles can be reversed, guys. So let's not get our panties tied in a bunch. The roles can be reversed. If you're a cross watcher, this can work as well. Okay? If you're not happy with my messages, guys, you just need to click off. Okay? You, you don't need to waste your time. Mercury's in retrograde. You know, you, you gotta, gotta give us a chance here to channel for y'all. And so, by being negative, is just gonna give you negative. So, if this is a person or an energy you're dealing with, oh man, are they vibrant as hell, right? Vibrancy, wow. I didn't even see the word. You were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. So the person you're dealing with might not be as humble as you'd like them to be. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. Someone might be um, maybe overshining you. Okay. I'm getting, they get a lot of attention or they want a lot of attention. Like the peacock, the peacock gets a lot of attention because of their vibrant, beautiful colors. 
Um, so it's gonna be different for everybody, but listen, the energy is vibrant as fuck with the peacock. And compared to you, like you're someone who completely hides and isolates themselves, right? When it comes to the sea turtle, you know, you're all about isolating yourself, protecting yourself. Whereas this person, oh man, they are out there. They are out and about and want to show their true colors. So this is why it can be a little bit of a yin-yang situation going on in the next two weeks. Please take it as it resonates, guys. Time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. So let's get to it. The person you're dealing with, the energy, the overview here from what I get is that someone is uh, very stressed out, sleepless nights. This, this has to do with fears, anxieties. Uh, that's all you think about basically when you're when when you're you're up at night, okay? You're basically really in your fears and anxieties with the moon, all the dark thoughts that we have, the subconscious, that's what the moon rules here. You might be dealing with a Pisces or the roles might be reversed. Like I said, take it as it resonates. So when it comes to a commitment here, a lot of sleepless nights and stressed feelings about this Queen of Wands. Maybe the Queen of Wands is the person you're dealing with. It can be someone who has a lot of fire in their chart. Someone who is a peacock. Someone who's vibrant. Someone who takes action. Who makes moves. Who can be a little impulsive and aggressive. Or you're dealing with a Libra. But all in all, I feel like there needs to be fairness. There needs to be a balance. There needs to be... Um, an equal give and take things need to be fair on both ends and i feel like maybe that's what's stressing you out that it's not fair this person maybe is not seeing your point of view maybe because i mean when i see this and this it means that you're worried and why would you be worried because things might not turn out to be fair now let's get more into the reading about this person and what they're thinking so what's on their mind please what is on their mind when it comes to this connection? This can be a new relationship. This can be someone from your past, someone coming in that you haven't spoken to yet. Take it as it resonates, people. Okay. Way too many cards. And I'm not feeling those at all. So what are they thinking, please? The energy is high charged. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This is what they're thinking, Virgo. They're thinking of your partnership. They're thinking of getting together and meeting you and offering their cup of love. This is mutual. Okay. But there's some embarrassment. There's some conflict. There's some humiliation around it with the bottom of the deck. But let's take a look. What are they telling you here when they come forward? How are they coming forward? Okay. So... I feel like this person comes forward as someone who is very successful, someone who has a lot of attention and makes that known, okay? With that Ace of Swords, it's clear, makes it known that they get a lot of public recognition, they're in the public eye, they get a lot of attention and are very successful. That's how they're coming forward. A little bit full of themselves, but let's see. How she or he feels about you deep down, Virgo. Okay. So someone here is dissatisfied. Okay, there's the Four of Cups. Cups are water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone is dissatisfied, not understanding and seeing the possibilities. Unrequited unrequited there's not enough attraction here someone doesn't see it coming someone doesn't see that there's an opportunity that is before them someone is walking away man someone is completely unfulfilled trying to walk away to something that fulfills them wow so someone here how they feel here is that they're walking away because they're dissatisfied and unfulfilled with the Four of Cups. We have a lot of cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone's walked away from something that's been very unfulfilling and moving towards something that is fulfilling. Okay? 
So is this person making a transition from being like this to like this with you? Or they're making a transition from their past to their present with you? Take it as it resonates because these cards, man, they're showing me two different realities. And it's like a transition phase here that someone's going through. Yeah, definitely uh, open and receptive to love. They want, they want to feel deep love. And I feel like maybe they can get that. And I think that they, in the past, have had to walk away from this to get to this. Sa complete satisfaction and an opening here, an offer in love. And the Queen of Cups can also mean someone who's in love and someone who's receptive in love. Oh, okay. How he or she is walking their talk, honey. They are coming through with the Queen of Wands. She is fire. She is vital. She is vibrant. She is making moves. Can you see that right there? Why is it so blurry? Okay. So, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This can be someone who has a lot of Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo in their chart. Someone who is a go-getter. Someone who makes decisions. Someone who can be very impulsive sometimes. And, you know, can't slow down with this energy. So that's how they're walking their talk. Male or female, guys. You know, and who really wants this opportunity. Let's take a look. Give me another... Yeah, but you see, this person is really stressed out and in the, and really um, has a lot of anxieties and fears. This is all self-imposed, negative self-talk. Maybe you're dealing with a queen of wands or someone who is embodying this, this energy. Someone who, you know, is taking action but is in their feels, in their thoughts, sorry. That want, swords are, are thoughts. When it comes to the King of Cups, the King of Cups, so maybe they are in love, but they don't, they don't know how to show it. What is, what are the outside influences, please, of this person? It can be a Leo, outside influence, someone here who needs the inner strength, is trying to dig deep. Outside influence here is the world, so the world is. Stepping into a whole new chapter, starting a new chapter, finding the strength outside of this connection to close off a cycle and open a new one. I saw the moon again. Someone's a bit stressed and, and fearful, going through some, some shifts, some mood swings. So someone here on the outside, outside influence, maybe might have... Uh, felt rejected in the past might have gone through some losses in the past yeah definitely some losses here with that page of ace of pentacles and five of pentacles there was not a reciprocation someone left them out in the cold they wanted to offer something but they left they were left out in the cold yeah when it comes to the high priest when it comes to the commitment so how will this person be walking their talk in the next six to eight weeks for Virgo, please, in regards to Virgo in love? We got that. <laughs> Justice card. So things, maybe you're dealing with legal matters. Things will end up being fair. Hmm. You're looking for fairness, Virgo, and you're going to get it. Karmic justice. Karmic lessons when it comes to all these uh, struggles and conflicts there's a lot of conflict here with the five of wands between you two trying to find balance it's gonna take some patience six to eight weeks man but this is all karmic yeah page of pentacles learning page of pentacles she's young she's an, she's an apprentice she's learning she's you know she's a student learning our karmic lessons hmm Learning our karmic lessons. What else do we got here for Virgo in the next six, eight weeks? What can they expect, please? Oh, that's a lot of cards. Uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so someone here, I'm going to keep these ones. I'm not going to take these ones. I'm not feeling them. I'm using my intuition here. Someone's going to be at a crossroads with that two of wands coming to make a decision about uh, getting into this reunion so reunion getting to, getting back together 
with this situation. Yeah, Knight of Wands, someone's going to come in and communicate. But the Knight of Wands is someone who is not very committal, okay? So we have to be careful with that energy. But karma will be served here, guys. I'm telling you, I feel it in my bones. So if you're wondering, let's go and clarify, please, that Two of Cups. So what's on their mind is partnerships, equal give and take with the Two of Cups. Yeah, it's making a decision. Again, we have... You know, this is what will end up happening is making a decision about getting back together. You know, we see it that it's on their mind with the two of cups, the two of wands. It's it's a lot of twos here. OK, now, how do they feel about Virgo? How do they feel about Virgo? Can we clarify, please, the situation here with that page of cups, nine of cups, four of cups, eight of cups, a lot of cups. Uh, someone's still indecisive about how they feel, about if they want to offer something. There's a lot of indecisiveness with a lot of signs. Again, when it comes to the commitment, someone is indecisive. Maybe this is you. Maybe this is them. Take it as it resonates. It's going to be different for everybody. Yeah, when it comes to, to this spark, to this passion, to this beginning. All right. Let's look at how they're walking their talk. So this person here is the Queen of Wands, but she's kind of stressed out here about the move she makes. Male or female, fire sign, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the swords. Can you clarify? Oh. Oh. Two of Cups. So someone is definitely, uh, you know, wanting the, a partnership, thinking a lot about it wanting to make a move but really stuck in their head about you know things that are not going to work out and it's taking some rest and recovery and a lot of surrendering here so let's go with the influences please what's influencing <sighs> that's amazing i love when my cards they they double clarify so the influence here is that they don't want to be left out in the cold they don't want to be rejected this is what's coming out from the outside maybe they're already rejected and left out in the cold and abandoned and it's taking them a lot of strength to step into a whole new world with you and offer love okay and offer commitment and open up their hearts and express themselves it's taking a lot here we're dealing with past karmic shit yeah someone's definitely holding back so in the next few weeks please give me some more the next few weeks we have a virgo a capricorn or taurus here that might make a decision Someone who is a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus making a decision. Someone who's good with their money. Someone who tends to the home. This can be a mother. What else? What else can we expect in the next six eight weeks? Taking action. Someone needs to take action. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Whether or not they want to put in the work. Whether or not they want to put in the work. Make moves and be bold. Yeah, I think they're going to have to, in the next six to eight weeks, they're still going to be a little bit, um, you know, in their head about all this. Honestly, that four of swords, it's like giving up. It's surrendering. It's praying. It's like, there's a lot on their mind. Make, going at a crossroads here. Maybe you're dealing with this, this person here, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Something about getting back together, reunions, when it comes to this karmic connection. This is very karmic, guys. Again, strength, Leo. We got strength twice here, guys. So, Virgo, that's you. So, trying to make a decision in love is not going to be easy, guys. Mercury is in retrograde and as of July 7th. And as you can see, a lot of us are already being affected. Uh, this can affect communication, this can affect transportation, this can affect, you know, the way we express ourselves. It can trigger a lot of arguments and disagreements and not seeing eye to eye. We got to surrender this to spirit. They're really telling us to go within and listen to your intuition. <laughs> ah, 
listen to your intuition as i'm saying that this is what they're telling me you gotta ask for help you gotta you gotta reach out to tarot readers you gotta you know support the tarot readers by watching these videos because it's gonna give you some intel and it's gonna allow you to recover it's gonna allow you to recover from all this madness yeah, they're telling you to go within, Virgo. You really got to go deep within and reflect about this, just like the Virgo card does. To find answers, you need to go within, not without. No one here is going to give us the answers but ourselves when it comes to romance, when it comes to this strong attraction and, and soulmate connection. I mean, we have the Two of Cups twice. You know, it's on someone's mind here. Okay? It's strong. But it's creating a lot of problems because there's like something's not fair about this connection when the justice card comes up. But don't worry because there's big happy changes. But I feel like there's something better for you out, out there, Virgo. Okay, our cross watcher here. Big happy changes. We can expect different outcomes here. We need to release the control. And let's pick few more cards here from my virgo rising also moon and venus sun moon venus and rising yeah dealing with finances and career maybe this is why it's not equal okay someone has to deal with their finances with their career it's a factor right now in your love life this is a past life relationship and this is why you feel a strong attachment but if this is not for you virgo you got to be careful Okay, just because they come from our past, it doesn't mean they're good for us. Check out my video about exes and past life relationships. If you need some motivation, someone here needs to work on their forgiveness, healing the past, dealing with family, childhood wounds here. Maybe this is the person that you're dealing with. Or this is you, you know, someone needs to work on their, their wounds, their childhood wounds due to family disagreements, due to family drama, due to divorce, due to all these things that caused us to feel probably, you know, insecure. Insecure, I'm getting insecurity. Someone feels insecure, guys. So on that note, thank you so much for tuning in. If this doesn't resonate right now, it might resonate in the next few days or weeks. Uh, remember, time is an illusion and energy is fluid. Be sure to check out your other sign, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And you can follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. And you can reach out for a personal reading if you'd like to get more information on this situation. Um, all my information is down below. You have to email me first, guys. Please email me and don't message me on Instagram so that I can send you the details so that the transaction can go, can go smoothly. Uh, my prices will be listed in the email that I send to you. So please reach out. I'm going to be posting daily as well very soon. I'm going to finish my Zodiacs and things will get rolling. So have a great uh, first two weeks. Be sure to connect meditate, reflect. This is what's in the cards for you. Have a great evening, day, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye.